The America pushes homosexuality, transgenderism. All those things are against God. Easter is against God. In Jeremiah chapter 10, it tells us not to celebrate Christmas. But I guarantee you, in the Union Baptist Church, you will go in there December 25th, they will have a Christmas tree in there, which is totally against the Most High God. So God is telling us, as the Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, to come out of her. That's right. Come out of America's ways. Come out of her practices. Come out of the way that she conducts herself around the earth. Come out of the philosophies of America. Give me Re Revelation chapter 18 and verse 4. We want to show you something, brother. We want to show you one thing. Watch this. The book of Revelations, chapter 18 and verse 4. Uh -huh. I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people. So God says in Revelations, I heard another voice saying, Come out of her, my people. What is he speaking of? Is he speaking of coming out of America? No, he's talking about coming out of these Christian churches. Yes, coming out of the ways of America. That's right. Coming out of Christmas. Yes, coming out of Easter. Yes, right. All that is totally against the Bible. But he's telling us to come out of her. Read it again. And I heard another, another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people, uh -huh. that ye be not partakers of her sins. Because America is full of sin. That's right. All Sunday worship is a sin. Right. God said to worship him on the Sabbath day. That's right. The Sabbath day is, su is Saturday, not That's Sunday. Right. Read. Verse 5. <laughs> For her sins have reached unto heaven. So the sins of America have reached unto heaven. The America pushes homosexuality, transgenderism. All those things are against God. Right. Easter is against God. Right. In Jeremiah chapter 10, it tells us not to celebrate Christmas. Right. But I guarantee you, in the Union Baptist Church, you will go in there December 25th, they will have a Christmas tree in there, right. which is totally against the Most High God. That's right. So God is telling us, as the Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, to come out of her. That's right. Come out of America's ways. Come out of her practices. Come out of the way that she conducts herself around the earth. Come out of the philosophies of America. Give me uh, uh, 2 Corinthians 11 and 4 again. Because we had a sister that came up. And she said that she didn't worship the white image of Jesus. But I guarantee you, you walk in there, they don't have a black image of it. Bring it out. I guarantee you that. Bring it out. But our people, just because they're older, they think they know more than the prophets of God. They do not. Read up. Because they do not keep God's commandments. Read that. The book of 2 Corinthians, chapter 11 and verse 4. Uh -huh. For if he that cometh preacheth another Jesus. So there was somebody that came on the earth that preached another Jesus. Read on. Whom we have not preached. Because the apostles never spoke of a white man named Jesus. Read. Or if ye receive another spirit. Another spirit goes into the homosexuality spirit. The effeminate spirit that's inside of that church. Because like the officer said, not one man came out to defend his cause. We had a woman to come up. What happened to the men? What happened to Pastor Mac? Why didn't he come out when we were speaking about tithing? When we told him that he is taking the people's money against God. Because God told, never told us to tithe uh, of money. It said coin, oil, and wine that we read in Deuteronomy chapter 14. Read on. Which ye have not received, uh -huh. or another gospel uh -huh. which ye have not accepted. But the gospel that's accepted by America is this white image and all the doctrines and philosophies that goes along with America. That's what we are here teaching our people. So, officer, what's the brother talking about? Uh, hey, officer, what, what is he talking about? He said he knows the truth, but he, he needs to know more. I'm trying to get him. Oh, okay, okay. All praises, sir. That's, that's beautiful. That's why we are here. 
Now we're going to show you that if you know you're a Jew, we're going to give you something. Give me Deuteronomy chapter 10 and verse 12. You just pull, pull right on up. Come on over, brother. Pull on up. That's what we out here for you. We out here for you, brother. Watch this. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 10 and verse 12. Uh-huh. And now, Israel. And now, brother, the brother said he knows he's an Israelite. Read. What doeth the Lord thy God require of thee? Uh-huh. But to fear the Lord thy God. Uh-huh. To walk in all his ways, uh -huh. and to love him, uh -huh. and to serve the Lord thy God with all thy heart, and with all thy soul. Read on. To keep the commandments of the Lord, and his statutes, which I command thee this day for thy good. So God is requiring the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans to keep his commandments. So brother, if you know who you are, get you a flyer. Make sure that you do your research, brother, because we read in Revelation 18 and 4, God has commanded us to come out here and tell our people to come out of their sins. Come out of the ways of America. We have been bamboozled here. We think that we're supposed to uh, just fit into that system. Without, We're not supposed to fit into that system. We are a different people than everybody else. We're God's chosen people. Give me uh, Deuteronomy 7 and 6. We got a brother coming over, and we want to go through the scriptures and show our people how special they are to God because we've never been taught that. That's right. We've been taught that we, we're African Americans, that That's we're right. nobodies, that they can gun us down with three fifths of a man. They tell us all those things. They tell us we're Negroes, but that ain't what God calls us. Let's see what God says about us. Read that. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7 and verse 6. Hey, sister, across the street, I want you to listen to this scripture. We have gone through more scriptures than your pastor covered today. I guarantee you. But I want you to hear this one scripture, okay? Listen to this. Verse 6. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. God says, sis, that you are holy people unto him. Read. The Lord thy God has chosen thee uh -huh. to be a special people unto himself above all people who are upon the face of Upon, upon the face of the earth. So God says, you blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans are above all people that are upon the face of the earth. Brother How you doing, bro? You know who he is, man. You know who you are, bro? So you know you're Israelite? Yes, sir. Okay, so Very what's good. required of us? We just read that because knowing we're Israelite, I'm going to tell you, I heard a lot of people tell me, oh, I know I'm Israelite, but we're still in the same condition. Yeah. Still getting shot down. Still uh, a man in Buffalo killing us. Uh, we get a knee on our neck for nine minutes, right? So what, 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 what must we do to change our situation? Give me that Deuteronomy chapter 10, verse 12. Once again, for the brother. We want to show you something, bro. Because I, a lot of people say they, they is, we teach, we teach, brother, we teach on the street weekly, right? So we know, we teach, we're out on the street at least 365 days of the year. Somebody in our organization is out there. And I guarantee you, everybody has told us that they know they're Israel. But this is what God requires of us. Because knowing you're Israel is just one part of it. Watch this. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 10 and verse 12. Uh -huh. And now, Israel. So you're Israelite, right? So what tribe are you from, brother? You see yourself on that sign? Okay, what tribe are you from? So you're from the tribe of Judah, right? Is this your daughter? Oh, okay, okay, I'm sorry. But okay, she, so is she from the tribe of Judah as well? Yes. She's from the tribe of Judah as well, okay? So you know we've got two Israelites from the tribe of Judah. So God says, now Israel, what did the Lord thy God require of thee? Look, listen to this. What doth the Lord thy God require of thee? Uh -huh. But to fear the Lord thy God, uh -huh. to walk in all his ways. So to walk in God's ways. That's one thing we haven't done here in America. Read. And to love him uh -huh. and to serve the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul. Uh -huh. To keep the commandments of the Lord. What did God tell us to do? To keep the commandments of the Lord uh -huh. and his statutes, which I command thee this day for thy good. So God told us to keep the commandments. So brother, are you keeping the commandments of God? Is that what you're trying to get to? I'm trying to get there, listen, brother. I'm an Nazi, bro. I've been sinning. I ain't okay, been okay. Bro. But that's okay, bro. I'm, I'm because we were God. all there at one point. Right. Believe me. We did not grow up with this understanding. We I, we just coming in ourselves. But now that we're coming in, God commanded us to come out here and to teach our people. So give me our uh, 1 Kings 8 and 46. Bring it up. 
So we're gonna show you something else, brother, because we we all see him, right? We're gonna no show wise. you what King yeah, Solomon said. Let her know. Tell her why it's not right. Oh, okay, okay. Because all right, we're gonna let me get this one scripture, and then we're gonna get that for you, sis. We're gonna show you because what we have held a white man in such high esteem that we think he should get the kingdom of heaven. Why? Why do we think that? All the wickedness that he's done upon the earth. Why should he get the kingdom of heaven? We never, we never think about that. Them as a race, as a whole, you know, we're not out here to bash white people, but we're out here to teach our people. Now, let me get this one scripture, and then I'm going to show you how we know that this does not fit the, the so-called white man. Watch this. The book of 1 Kings, chapter 8 and verse 46. This is for your question. What's your name again, brother? Frank. Frank? Frank. Pre Preston. Okay, what's your name? Wait, 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 wait. Erica, Preston and Eric. Right, my name's Lavinia. Watch this. Verse 46. Uh -huh. If they sin against thee, uh -huh. for there is no man that sinneth not. Like you said, we all sin, right? That's what we said. We sin too. Read. And thou be angry with them. And God was angry with us. Read. And deliver them to the enemy. Where did God deliver us? To the enemy. Are we in the land of our enemies right now? Were we delivered here as captives? Yep. Read. So that they carry them away captive. Unto the land of the enemy, far or near. So we were taken from our land, far or near. Read. Yeah. If they shall yet bethink themselves. So God is telling us to bethink ourselves. Remember that you're from the tribe of Judah. That you're not an African American. Remember who you are. That's what God is telling us to do. Read. Yet if they shall bethink themselves uh -huh. in the land whither they were carried captive. Uh -huh. And repent. And do what? And repent. So God is telling us to change our ways. As soon as we figure out who we are, because remember we talked about we know we're Israel, but we don't do the changing that God requires of us. That's why we still stay in the same condition, right? Read. And make supplication uh -huh. unto thee and the land of them that carried them captive, uh -huh. saying, we have sinned. So that's what God wants to do, saying, we have sinned. Yeah. That's all he wants to do. We've sinned against you, God. Read. And have done perversely. Uh-huh. We have committed wickedness. All of us have committed wickedness. We've broken God's Sabbath days. Yep. We walk around and we, we all celebrated Christmas, Easter. I know I did. Yep. All A lot of us did. That's wickedness. That's idolatry according to God. Read. And so return unto thee with all their heart uh -huh. and with all their soul uh -huh. and the land of their enemies, uh -huh. which led them away captive uh -huh. and pray unto thee toward their land. So that's what God wants us to do. Just repent, come back to him, pray towards our land, which is in the east, which is Jerusalem. That's where we're originally from. So we have to just change. That's why we're out here. We give you a flyer. We want you to go in and learn the commandments and start making those changes. Now, I'm going to show you how we know we're the Israelites of the Bible. And this so-called white man, doesn't. it doesn't fit him. Give me Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. We're going to show you something right fast. This was a prophecy that Moses told the children of Israel when we came out of the wild, out of uh, Egypt. So now... We're going to listen to the prophecies. Listen to this. Watch this. 15. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 15. Uh -huh. But it shall come to pass, uh -huh. if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe to do all his commandments uh -huh. and his statutes, which I command thee this day, uh -huh. that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So, Erica, is a curse a good thing or a bad thing? A bad thing, right? So God says, if you don't do what I say, I'm going to put some curses upon you. Now, this is how we identify who we are today. Let's see if these curses fit the so-called white man. Because you said that you were looking for the white man on the chart, right? Let's, let's see. Let's get verse 16. Watch this. Bring it up. Verse 16. Cursed shall thou be in the city. So God said for breaking his commandments, you were going to be cursed in the city. Now, what, any city that you go to in the world, where, where are black people at? What do they call women? Ghetto. The ghetto, the trap, the hood. Yeah. That's where we're cursing the city. How you doing, sir? Right, I thought you were somebody. That you know what well, Come on over and pull you up. Right. You Are you a pastor? Bob. You a pastor? No, no, you ain't you Bob. No, my name's not Bob, sir. But come on over and get some of this word, brother. We out here teaching it. It's free. We ain't, we giving it away, brother. It ain't, it ain't gonna cost you nothing like it costs in that church. It's free. Yeah, read up. I said. All right, watch I'm this. Watch this. <laughs> To, hey, so so now, uh, Eric. So now, yeah, let him come on over. We want him to produce his cause. We want him to come because we because we just read in Revelation 18 and 4, we're trying to come out of the ways of America. We can't come out of the ways of America by going in that church that supports white supremacy. Right. That's what that church supports. It supports that this is God. 
And uh, this is Jesus, and they are the people of the book. That's what we're trying to show the sister right here, Sister Erica, that they're not the people of the book, that we are. Because think about it like this. Let me, before I get to it. Now, a, a lot of us voted, because I was voting back then for Barack Obama, right? Why did we vote for Barack Obama? Did we know anything about his politics or policies or anything? Yeah. We voted for him because he looked like us, right? The now, the greatest man that ever lived looked like us, Jesus. right? Jesus Christ, who is a black man according to the scriptures. Right. Now, wouldn't, wouldn't, shouldn't we be proud of that? And that church doesn't teach that. That's that work. church teaches white supremacy. They'll have a white image of Jesus in there on the churches. That cross that they got is idolatry. That that's don't right. have nothing to do with the Bible. That's right. So that's what we are here doing, showing our people to come out of America, come out of their ways. Now, we're going to go back to the scriptures again. So we read Deuteronomy 28, 16. God said that we'll be cursed in the city, right? We said that we're cursing every city. Give me the rest of that verse. And cursed shall thou be in the field. As you can see from the signs, we cursed in the field, cotton fields, sugar cane. You see that, sis? Sister Erica, Brother Preston. That's, we're cursed in the field. Yep. Those are all curses that God put upon his chosen people. Now, did that happen to the white man, sis? Nope. That's why God, that's why it doesn't fit him. Right? Now, give me verse, give me, um, uh, give me 32 right fast. Now, we're going to show you one more curse. Watch this. Verse 32. Uh-huh. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. Uh-huh. And thine eyes shall look and fail with longing for them all the day long. So God says your sons and daughters will be given unto another people. You see that man right there? And you see these signs where we were sold off as on auction slave blocks? That was a curse from God. Did that happen to the so-called white man? Was he so, Was he the one doing the selling or was he uh, the one on the auction blocks or was it us? You see you see that sis? Hey sis, we going through, what's your name sis? Janae. Janae. We got Brest, uh, brother Preston, sister Erica, and sister Janae. What's your name little man? Braden. Braden. All right. My name's Athenia. So it's nice to meet y'all. So what we're doing is going through the curses that were going to befall the children of Israel. Because Sister Erica thought that the so-called white man should be on that side. Why doesn't he get the kingdom of heaven? Because he did this to us, and this is a Bible prophecy that our sons and daughters will be given it to another people. Did that happen to us in slavery? Would you agree? Yeah. Okay. So that doesn't fit him. It fits us. Give me 68. And I'm going to ask y'all all a question. How did our people get to America? Slavery. Well, yeah. what was our mode of transportation? Did we catch a cruise ships. line? Ships. Was an airplane? Ships. On Why ships, right? Ships. Watch this. Give me the 68. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 68. Uh -huh. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. With so God said he was going to bring us into Egypt, which means captivity. Because yeah. we were, where were we, what were we doing in Egypt? We were slaves, right? So God said, I'm going to bring you into Egypt again. With ships. With what? With ships. That's how we got here on cargo slave ships. That, did the white man go in the, in the slavery on cargo slave ships, Erica? No. So it don't fit him, right? That's it. So keep reading. By the way whereof I spake unto thee. Uh-huh. Thou shalt see it no more again. We won't see our homeland. Remember when we read in 1 Kings, we said our homeland is Jerusalem. We, have we been back to Jerusalem? No. Nope. We've been stuck here in America, suffering the oppression and, and the curses that God put upon us, his chosen people, because we broke his commandments. That's, the, that's what we are here to do, to wake our people up, to come back to serving God so we can get out of here. We're tired of being in slavery in America, not knowing whether we're going to live the day to day. We'll go into a grocery store. We don't know if we're going to make it out. We don't know. We don't know if somebody gonna walk in there and shoot us and kill us. Right. We have no idea. We That's don't. Right. right. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies. So God says, when you get off of those slave ships, Janae, you are gonna be sold unto your enemies. But we sold to our enemies? Yes, we So sis, what does that tell us? That we are the Israelites of the Bible. That's word. Read that. Read, finish reading. Sir. For bomb men, for slave men, and bomb women, and our women, they sold our women as slaves too. They didn't care. Read. And no man shall buy you. And no man shall get you out of this captivity that you're in. Nobody shall be able to save you. We've had great leaders: Malcolm X, Martin Luther King, uh, Sojourner Truth. We've had a lot of great leaders, but we're still here in America because we're waiting on Christ, the Black Messiah. That's right. Did you know Christ was a black man? Uh, a black man, little man. Did you know that, Braden? We're going to show you that. 
So, so you will understand too as well. We're gonna get that in Revelation. Then we're gonna wrap up. We're gonna get that in Revelations right fast. What the image of Christ? Okay. Because we got an image here that they gave us in Christianity. Take a picture, sis, if you want to. I want to take this a is what, of that. Okay. <laughs> this is what they gave us in Christianity, right? This is the one that my grandmother had in her house right there. I, I looked at it for 20 years. And then I came to the understanding that that was not Jesus. Now watch this. Give me Revelation 1 and 1. The book of Revelation, chapter 1 and verse 1. Uh-huh. Hey, sis, what's your name? Come on over for a second. We're getting ready to go over the image of Christ, okay? What's your name, sis? Michelle. Michelle, okay. Michelle, Janae, Preston, and Erica, and Braden. Y'all listen to this scripture right here. Now we're going to go through the, the revelation or the revealing of Jesus Christ. Watch this. Verse 1. Uh -huh. The revelation of Jesus Christ, uh -huh. which God gave unto him to show to his, unto his servants things which must shortly come to pass. So he's talking to John the, Revel John the Revelator is on the island of Patmos. And he's seeing a revelation. Watch this. Give me verse 14. Watch this. Let's see what he sees because he sees an image. Of a, he sees a man, right? Watch this. Verse 14. Uh-huh. His head and his hairs were white like wool. So Jesus Christ, his head and his hairs on his face were white like wool. I'll tell you what they've been doing this week. They've been showing me as the example. Is my hair white? Mm -hmm. Is it yes. woolly? Mm -hmm. Am I a black man? Mm -hmm. Christ, that's what Christ had. Yes, his head and his hairs were white like wool. That's right. That's right. As white as snow. Uh huh. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. And his eyes were as a flame of fire because Christ drank wine in moderation. You know what Christ's first miracle was what? Turning water into wine. He drank wine in moderation. He wasn't drunk, but he drank in moderation. The white parts of his eyes were red. Because, you know, if we drink a little bit, they turn red, right? Red. And his feet. So I can look down and see Janae's feet. I can see your feet too, right? He looked down and saw his feet. Let's see what his color his feet is. And his feet. Like unto fine brass. What color is brass? Oh, my feet. Brass. Brass, mm. right? It's kind of a brown like a penny, right? Yeah. Ready? As if they burned in a furnace. So if he takes that brown brass and you burn it, <laughs> what color does it turn? Black. It's, there you go, Braden. Oh, oh Braden. Give Braden a hand. Yeah. Braden got the image. All, all praises, Braden. So now we're showing that Christ is a black man according to the Bible. Oh, right? Man. That's what the Bible says. And I guarantee you in that church, they're not teaching this. That's why we out here sit up in front of this church, because we're tired of our people being in there, being deceived. That's we right. want to get them out of there. That's right. You understand? So y'all got flyers. I don't want to keep holding the brothers. I know they got to go. But I, I do, if y'all got any questions, please answer. Please ask your questions right now. Well, I have a question. Yes, ma'am. Um, back in 2002 or uh -huh. three, when I was praying with my son, I dreamed about this guy here. Uh-huh. And he came on top of me, over top of my belly when I was asleep, laying on my back. Oh. And he was happy, then he got angry. So I was yeah. a little worried. I don't know what the sign meant or yeah, yeah. That's what that's it that's was. that's all. All right, y'all gotta understand it. That's I would say that's a nightmare. A paralysis. <laughs> so? Yes, ma'am. I would say I, I would say a white man I, standing over top of you. Who's? Do you see who this I man is? This guy here. This, I this saw man him. is not Christ. His I name is Caesar Boger. You see his name? He's actually a man. Well, he was a man. He was Pope Alexander the the uh, sixth uh, son. So he was actually a man that walked the earth. He was just a regular white man. And they used him in the Renaissance era as the new depiction of what Jesus Christ would look like. Because the, the Bible, as you can see from the top here, this is 912 AD. You can see Christ was black. Christ was black. They took our images. Give me that in 1 Maccabees uh, 1 and uh, 3 and 48. So we're going to show you what that the so-called white man did while we were in slavery. While we were under the, uh, under the Roman captivity. He came in and changed the image, and he changed the image in all the Bibles, and he changed the image to put himself as Christ, right? And then told us we're Negroes, right? But like I told Erica, we are the children of God. That's right. We're the Israelites of the Bible. Watch this. Uh huh. The book of 1 Maccabees, chapter 3 and verse 48. Uh huh and laid open the book of the law. So they laid open the book of the law, which is the Bible. Y'all listen? Listen to this. Uh-huh. Wherein the heathen has sought to paint the likeness of their images. So the heathen, which is the so-called white man, started to paint the likeness of their images in our Bible. 
That's why we get a white image of Jesus. That's why I said my grandma had that image on her door, on her, in, uh, hung up in her house for 20 years. Because they gave us that. But that's not a true depiction of what Christ looked like. We just read it out of the Bible. His head and his hairs were white like wool, as white as snow. And his feet were so dark, it looked like it burned in a furnace. He was that's a very dark-skinned man. That's that's much right. darker than us. That's right. You know, that's what Christ really looked like. What is nation? Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support 